<laughs> okay, so let's look at 3-4 because this is the end of what your quiz on Wednesday is going to be over. So we will have a review of two days worth of time. So um, if you don't get your homework done before then, then it stinks to be you. So a couple things. We talked about change of base yesterday. Briefly. So this is your actual change of base formula. And you also can do change of base for natural log. What you cannot do is combine natural log with log. You can't put the same, you can't put two different types of logs in the same fraction. So don't even consider doing that. So let's look at this one. What would I write as my equation? And I would expect when you take your quiz that I would see the equation. If you give me an answer without an equation, I will assume that you use a change of basic formula embedded in your calculator and you won't get many points for that. So what goes up top? Log, log, 30, log of 30, 30, and then log of 4 is in the denominator. So then we're going to take our handy dandy calculator and log of 30, make sure you enter parentheses, divided by log of 4. We've got to learn to round correctly. So we're going to round to four places. So it's approximately, so just two equals. Two points. Four or five is it a three four or a three five? Three five. Four. 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 What's four. next door is a four. 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 That's less than five, so it stays the same. Five is that point at which if it's five or higher, we round up. If it's less than that, we keep it the same. So we got four, five, three, four. Now, interestingly enough, remember we looked at the graphs of log versus natural log because this particular question specifically said use common logs. And that's what we used here was the common log base 10. This one says it's the same exact problem, but it says use natural logs. Natural log and common log? We looked at the graphs. They're very similar, aren't they? But they're not exactly the same, are they? No. Well, let's look to see, can I write a change of base formula using natural log? So I would just have the natural log of 30 or the natural log of 4. Let's see if that gives us the same answer. So here's my answer from the previous one. We have the natural log of 30 divided by the natural log of 4. So we get the same answer. I did indeed. change a base formula, you can use common or natural log. Now, I personally would not switch it, but that's just because I have an issue with switching common logs with natural logs. <coughs> You'll see a lot of teachers do that. Um, I just won't ever see me doing it. It would bother me way too much. But you get the same answer. Then we've got properties. We'll look at some more properties today. We looked at some properties yesterday. We have more today. And these properties are just there to help you when we start solving equations. You have to know your properties. If you don't know them, you're going to have a hard time solving your equation. So here's all they say. Think of the four operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Out of those four operations, which is closely, which one is closely related to multiplication? Addition, don't they both increase numbers? So addition and multiplication are closely related. That means that subtraction and division are closely related because they both decrease numbers. So look at how the properties are formed. We've got the log of any base of something, two things we multiply together. We have discovered that if you take the log of each of those items separately with that same base and add them together, you get the same answer. For instance, what if I took the log of 2 times 3. So if I have the log of 2 times 3, I get this answer. 
they're saying that all I have to do is take the log of 2 and add to that the log of 3, and I should get the identical answer. Do I? So I'm just doing this for this one uh, property, but somebody really, really smart came up with that and figured that one out. You? No, I'm not that smart. Mr. Boyle. <laughs> no, even Mr. Boyle is not that smart. Okay. Uh, the same thing uh, is for natural logs. It doesn't matter whether it's regular, common logs, or natural logs. So if you have two things being multiplied, you can pull them apart and add them together. Same thing is said. If you have two different logs being added together, you can put them into one log as multiplication. So you're going to have to expand and compress today. So look at this one. We have division, something divided by something. So then we're going to subtract in two separate logs. This does matter what order you subtract in. So whatever is up top has to come first in the subtraction. Here we have a base, and we're taking the log of a power. Now notice that this base of the log is not the same as the base of that power. So I can't say here that the answer is n. So when the base of your log and the base of the power are not the same, you can do what we call, or what I call, swinging this exponent out in front. So you take whatever the exponent is of that power, and you swing it out in front of the log, and you multiply it to the log. And that's it. So again, same thing can happen. So let's look at some examples. So look at three. Technically, we should have parentheses around that. So all we're going to do is look at the fact that I've got 5 times x cubed times y. And we're going to tear it apart, pull it apart. Multiplication means I do what? Add. Because we're going to tear it apart. So we're going to use this property up here. Right? So I have something multiplied. We're going to take each one of the different uh, factors in that product. And we're going to add them together as separate logs. So I have the log of 5 plus the log of x cubed plus the log of y. And I don't have a base showing here. But if there was a base, you'd have to write it in here. So because I don't have the base, it's understood to be 10. Yep, we're not done yet. So then, we're not done. We have to swing anything, any exponent, out in front of the log. So that one gets swung, and I get log of 5 plus 3 log of x plus log of y. That's your answer. I was just going to say, don't yeah, you remember doing this in algebra 3 4? Yeah. It should start to be bringing about. So then, look at this one. Now, this one is overall division, but even before that, you need to get in the habit of getting rid of your roots. So, underneath, I have all of this. We're taking the what root? Square root. So, what is all of that raised to? Because anytime I have addition or subtraction, if I can't factor, then that's one factor. So isn't this raised to the first power? Yeah. So I'm going to write that um, without the root. So that 3x minus 5, what is it actually raised to? Yeah, the 1 from underneath goes in the numerator, and the root always goes in the denominator. so in this case, 2. And it's still over x. So we're expanding, we're stretching out. So now, what do I do with division? Subtract. Subtract. So I've got the natural log of 3x minus 5 raised to the 1 half minus the natural log of x. And yes, you have to have a natural log with each piece. If you leave off the natural log on the x, you're going to have a wrong answer. Am I done? Can't I swing that 1 half out in front? So I get 1 half natural log of 3x minus 5. Yes, you need a parenthesis minus the natural log of x. And there is your final answer. So then I have one for you to add. Let's see if you really understood that. I'll just move it over to this side. So then try this one. I want to expand it. Emphasis on expanding. So I have the log of 8x 
y to the fourth. I want you to expand that. Run check. So it's good. into its prime factored form. So 8 only happens to have one prime number. So well, that becomes 2 to the third. So 4 is 2 to the 2 also. Why can't we do that? You mean for this exponent here? Right. Because it's an exponent. It's not in the base. It's oh, not in the log the itself. Yeah. Okay. So then I went ahead and swung my exponents at the same time. You could have swung your 4 earlier. But then you have to swing those exponents out in front, and you end up with 3 log 2 plus log of x plus 4 log of y. So only if it could be like factored. You only factor if it's like you're taking the log of it. Yeah, okay. But like the 5, you can't. Right. And we would never factor a base if you saw a base down here. Okay. Any questions on that one? All right, so now we're going to compress. So we're going to push it into one log. So look at example four, condense, I call it compress, it's the same thing. So we're going to condense. So anytime you see something out in front of the log, in this case, the one half, that, I always start with those. I'm going to swing those up, and so I get the log. Well, actually, I see you. It was quite powerful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's the ball playing there. Oh, remind me, I have, I have something that I need to tell you. Can you tell me it's not on the news? Oh, yeah, I'll tell you why, so you don't have to. Yeah. Okay, so if you get a concussion, right? Playing football. There's a product called Halo. You heard of it? You can put, it's like armor, you know, like under armor, like they put for bulletproof protection in a bulletproof vest. You can stick it in your helmet, and it changes the. Uh, percent rate of concussion uh, victims in high school football players from, I don't remember what the percent was, it was like 20% of kids who get concussions playing football to 1%. I've won one of those before. Uh, so as a mommy, I, I know your mommy would appreciate that. Because yeah. you need to get another concussion after first concussion, it's never good. Alright. So aside from that, don't we get this? Yeah. So you swing that up there. Our whole point is to get one log, so baby steps. I need to now convert x to the one half to what? Square root of x. So I have log square root of x plus log 
of x plus 1 q. We cannot distribute this q into the x and the 1. It doesn't work that way. Only if there was all multiplication in here. Now we have addition. What do we do with these two pieces, the square root of x and x plus 1 q? Um, multiply them. <coughs> multiply them. Oh, yep. So we have the law of an i person in these brackets. I want to make sure the powers of the understand that it's the square root of x times x plus 1 q and brackets. So this is my final answer for that one. A little easier to see than I was. So you cannot leave exponents as fractions. You have to convert them back to their uh, radical form. All right, so look at this one. Yes, they won't let you do this in fraction either. Oh, with the brackets? They'll probably accept it without the brackets. Are we reviewing in the lab? Yes, one of the days next week. Probably both the days. But you'll have an additional assignment on top of what you're working about. Okay, so let's look at this one. It's fine. Don't you want to do well on the test? I would want to do well on my test. So uh, immediately, you've got something in front of the natural log. And if you've got a natural log, you must use the natural log. You can't switch that to log. I don't want you guys to get in that habit. I don't like that habit. Like I said, it bothers me. So we're going to have the natural log of x plus 2. We swung the 2 up into the exponent. And we still have minus the natural log of x. You need to also get in the habit of using cursive on your natural log because you're going to, at one point, think that that L is a 1. And it's going to mess you up. Then from here, I have overall subtraction. What do I do with that graph? Yep, so the natural log of which comes first? X plus 2, X plus two squared. squared over just the X. You do not have two separate natural logs here. Only one is hanging out to the side. And then that's your final answer? Yeah. That one's not so bad, right? Yeah. All right, well, here's another one for you. No. <laughs> Five natural log of x minus two natural log of x y. You are to compress that into one log. This one has a little bit of a twist. to expand at the same time. We were thinking of condensing, compressing. Um, oh. One log. So, uh, share your answer with those around you.
two up to here, no problem, and you got this, right? But then, don't forget that this is all multiplication in here, so it's a power to power. For the power to power, we multiply exponents, and each of these has an exponent of one. So the y is not the only one that gets squared here. The x gets squared as well. So this then simplifies into still the natural log, don't drop it off, of x squared y squared. Resist the urge to expand that because we're trying to compress it. Then I have overall subtraction, so that means I'm going to divide. Only one natural log. Common error with division is you put a natural log here and a natural log there. That's not the same thing. So the natural logs hang out to the side, and you have x to the fifth over the x squared y squared. This fraction right here can be reduced. The x squared, the x squared and the x to the fifth can be reduced. And so you end up with just one natural log, x cubed over y squared. So star that because that's a very reasonable problem to put on a test and you don't want to miss it. So then we're going to use some properties to solve and come up with some values without a calculator. You might want to put for this section, did you still need to see this? No. Anybody still need to see that? We're good? Okay. So you might want to put on this section no calculator. That takes all the fun out of it. Uh, I forget your calculator. It's too easy. Now, I don't have the same base to anything here, right? Right. No. So I have the same base here, though. So this is what I was referring to. If you have the same base, they have to. So if your base is in ten, I have the same base here. I can still apply my properties. I have overall subtraction here, don't I? So can't I write this as the log? base 5 of 75 divided by 3? Yes. Right, because all I did was use a property that I have the same base of something being subtracted. So I put it as one log, but with division. Can't I reduce 75 thirds? Yes. So that becomes the log, base 5, you can't forget that, of 25. Then doesn't that, can't I do something with the 25? Yes, because five is Ah, very good. Now we're using our properties from yesterday. So we've got the log base 5 of 5 squared. Now, from yesterday's properties, those are the same. So what is the solution? You are a genius mental calculator. You did that without a calculator. I know you're very excited about it. So then, let's look at this one. This one you can do the hard way, or you can do the easy way. Here's the hard way. You tell me what the easy way is. So let's look at the hard way. We have natural log, natural log of something being divided. So couldn't I do division, right? Natural log of e cubed goes up top over e to the seventh. Fair enough. Can I reduce these? Yeah. So then that becomes natural log of 1 over because all of this cancels the 3 of those. 1 over e to the 4th. 
we don't really like fraction. So we're going to take this and move it up top. What happens? Negative. Natural log of e to the negative 4. And now and I, when I remember to put in the base, what do I notice? These cancel out, and what is my solution? So it equals negative 4. But there is an easier way to solve this. My point is there is more than one way, but there's definitely an easier way to solve this. So or, big fat or. I can take, I'm just going to rewrite the problem over here so that you can see directly what I'm doing. So the natural log of e cubed minus the natural log of e to the 7. So there's a different way I can do this. What is, I haven't put any e's in there. But I should put them in there, right? So aren't these bases of e's? And remember that when those are the same, what is the value of that log there? Just 3. The, the natural log part falls off, doesn't it? So the value of that natural log is 3. Minus, what's the value of this log? 7. What's 3 minus 7? Negative 4. So wouldn't it be prudent if you could remember that? But you still got the same answer doing it the long way. But I like the short way, don't you? So, flip. I have some uh, five problems for you to do. And then we'll be done. So these are all on your own. So you are to expand for these following three. So the first one is the natural log of 8x. And then the second one will be log <coughs> of 1,000 x to the fourth. And then the third one will be the natural log of the cube root of x divided by the cube root of y. And then over on the right side, you're going to condense and so example four is four times the log of xy minus three times the log of y z and then the fifth one is 3 times the natural log of x cubed y plus 2 times the natural log of y z squared. Okay, so those are your five problems. Just do it. Thank you. Exactly.
shouldn't need your calculator for anything. Okay? Until your calculator is not going to help you. Okay? When you have a power to power, you multiply those exponents. So if you're stuck, you need help, ask me, ask somebody around. one that because it's being multiplied we expanded it out by addition but you then have to take the 8 and convert it to its exponential form which is 2 to the third because it has an exponent that 3 gets swung out in front and so you end up with 3 times the natural log of 2 plus the natural log of x and then same thing on this one these are technically being multiplied so expand them out by addition that 1,000 can be written, technically it's not in true prime factored form, but 10 to the third. And um, then those exponents can get swung out. The reason why we can leave 10 instead of 2 times 5, well, did anybody do that? Because you technically could expand 10 out. And I would let you do that. Did anybody do that? 
you? No. Yeah. Because 10 is 2 times 5, right? So technically, you have 2 to the 3rd and 5 to the 3rd, right? So you could split that with addition and swing the 3s out in front. So you'd have 3 uh, log of 2 plus 3 log of 5. I'm curious as what math Excel will take if they'll take that. I would take that. But I'm not in charge of the world. <laughs> All right, so uh, make sure when you have radicals, you immediately convert them to their uh, exponential form. So x becomes, or cube root of x is x to the one third, cube root of y is y to the one third. Then, because they're being divided, we subtract them, and then you can swing those one thirds out in front. So those weren't too bad of expansions. In your compressions, the very last thing I would do is put them, you know, look at your addition, subtraction, multiplication, multiplication, division. The very first thing you should be doing is swinging anything in front of your logs up as exponents. And then don't forget, when it looks like this, you've got a power to power. If everything in here is multiplication, you multiply exponents. If there's addition or subtraction in here, you leave it alone and you don't do anything. So 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 4 is 4, and here 1 times 3 is, where'd it go, oh, 3, and uh, 1 times 3 is 3. And so then I, because of the subtraction, I then divided them, and then I could reduce the y cubed with the y to the fourth. And so you ended up with x to the fourth y over z cubed. That one's a little bit more difficult. And then with this one, again, you swing swing. So you have this. Then power to power multiply. Don't add. So 3 times 3 is 9. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Then it starts to get a little tricky. Because we're adding, we're multiplying, right? Change in rules for exponents. When we multiply like bases, what, what do we do with the exponents? So there was no like base to the x, so the x came down as x to the ninth. But the y has a like base of y cubed and y squared. You have to add those to get y to the fifth, not multiplying. And then there was uh, no like term to the z to the fourth. So that's your final answer. And that one was difficult because you have that change in rules from power to power to multiplying like bases. So if you had trouble with that one, you might want to start it. It's a good habit to get into. Probably don't have to in math Excel. Just a good habit as we go further along. All right, so any other questions on these?